First of four today, the man charged with shooting a police officer in Shawnee Park was in front of a judge today. WDRB's Grace Haber and photojournalist Frank Stamper share that while it may be his first time in court on this case, that Herbert Lee is no stranger to the justice system. With several criminal charges dating all the way back to 2008, appearing before a judge is something Herbert Lee has done many times before. And this morning, his most recent appearance led to a heated exchange. Criminal possession of a forged instrument, second degree, will enter a plea of not guilty. As a judge reads out the long list of charges against him. Yeah. Just listen to what I'm telling you. Herbert Lee made it clear Friday morning that he had something to say. Let's just work on the paperwork. They don't even come to check my wounds or nothing. Like, I got, I'm open all over. They don't even come to change bandages or nothing. I got hurt to something yesterday. They didn't I will talk they didn't with you that. about that after we get through the paperwork. I'm saying, though, my body's in pain. I can cut less about this. Was gonna, I want my body to be... Okay. Next case. The wounds in question. Drop the gun! Lee got here during a shootout with police in Shawnee Park on Sunday. After leading officers on a chase into an open field. Body camera footage edited and released by LMPD Thursday shows Lee point an object at these five officers. LMPD says the item was a gun and that Lee shot first, hitting Officer Joshua Pickering. I got hit, dude. You okay? I hit my vest. Now facing charges of attempted murder of a police officer and four other charges for the shooting, in addition to a dozen other charges for previous crimes. Lee's prior convictions date back to 2008, when he crashed a stolen car and killed four teenagers. Since then, he's been in and out of jail for different crimes. In July 2012, he violated his release on the manslaughter charges and was sentenced to one year. Once released in February of 2014, he violated probation again and was put back behind bars until May of that year. Five months later, he was sentenced to five years for stolen property charges and released in November of 2018. Lee then violated probation again. This time, he had to serve until January of 2019. Then, later that year in December, he was sentenced to two years for stolen property charges and released in June of 2020. In December of 2020, he was sentenced to a year for strangling his girlfriend, but only had to serve 10 days and was released on probation in January but confronted the woman in Shawnee Park this April, violating the terms of that stay-away order. And one month later, the state started the process to put him back in custody. Lee is currently being held on a $1 million cash bond here at Metro Corrections. He's due back in court on Monday for charges in a case not related to the officer-involved shooting. In downtown Louisville, Grace Haba, WDRB News. Lee's complaint of no medical treatment prompted a conversation between the judge and the new head of Louisville's jail. As soon as he came out of court, he saw the doctor, um, and I can assure you, um, I made clear to our medical and our staff that yes, he is he was receiving medical attention um, as needed, and he is on the medical floor right now. Jail Director Jerry Collins was asked about Lee's claims while talking about recent deaths in Metro Corrections. Nearly 10.